the sustainability plan was deeply thought about before we launched it and has got many elements and that was deliberately designed to try to encapsulate everything that was important to our business at the time. We did think we would have to be making changes and I'm surprised and pleased that so far we haven't had to make any changes to the plan because it still remains as relevant today as it was then. And that is despite the fact that our business has itself grown by almost 50%. And we are in, now delivering a whole different array of services, but the plan itself still remains valid. In the last 12 months, I think we have seen a distinct heightening of the need for sustainabilities. Two or three years ago, maybe the debate was couched in terms of environmental issues and your carbon footprint. But I think now more and more, the debate is around trust in business. It's around license to operate. It's around the delivery of public services by an organization that needs to be trusted. And for us, the work we're doing around communities and around the idea of social value, I think is becoming more and more important as we try to demonstrate that big business isn't bad business. I think there's maybe two or three areas where we've got really big opportunities. The first one is in thought leadership. We have put ourselves at the forefront of the debate around social value and social capital by seizing the agenda and trying to be one of the first to actually measure social capital. I think we have put ourselves at the front of that sort of debate and that's across the political spectrum that's been very attractive. Secondly, I think when we move to our new office hub in the Midlands, we've got a great opportunity to transform our energy performance in the UK, to redefine employee travel and to tackle some of the opportunities a new purpose-built building can give for a workplace. And thirdly, and for me, really very excitingly, I think in our international operations, we are really now beginning to scratch the surface of how much benefit, how much commercial opportunity, how much differentiation a sustainability agenda can bring to a business in a region which typically hasn't focused on things like this. We are leading the way in the Middle East in finding the benefits of water, energy consumption changes, and the employee wellbeing agenda as well. In many ways, 2015, 2016 is when the rubber hits the road. To some extent, we've done the easy bit. It hasn't felt easy as we've been designing this carefully thought through plan, collecting all of this data, building the system to enable us to use the data. But actually now, we've really got to drive behavioral change into the organization to deliver 30% reduction in emissions from business travel, to deliver a 15% increase in employee volunteering. It's actually got to be at the contract level.